In this video, I'll set up and use an infrared distance sensor to control the brightness of an LED. Like most of these projects, I already have an LED plugged into digital pin 3. The distance sensor has three wires, one for voltage, one for ground, and one for the signal. I plug the red and black wires into the voltage and ground channels, and the yellow signal wire into analog pin 2. In Embryo, I add a controller input and output node. My LED is plugged into pin 3, so I can leave that output node alone. On the input node, I select pin A2, then connect to the Arduino. After the program uploads, I start getting a reading from my sensor. If I move my hand in front of the sensor, I can see the activation value change. To make it easier to see what's going on, I open up the graph for the input node. I notice two things about the input signal. First, it's pretty noisy. Second, it doesn't fit the 0 to 1 range that I want it to. To clean up the noise, I first add a value lag node from the math menu and attach the input to it. I adjust the lag value high enough so that the value is smooth, but not so high that it lags behind too far. A value around 0.6 looks pretty good. Next, I want to adjust the range so that when nothing is blocking the sensor, it outputs a 0, and when something is as close as it can get, it shows a 1. I add a transform number node from the math menu and hook up the value lag node to it. I want the output range to stay from 0 to 1, so I'll leave those inputs alone. I'm going to adjust the input range minimum and maximum values. First, with nothing in front of the sensor, I adjust the input minimum value until the activation is zero. Next, I put my hand in front of the sensor until the graph peaks. Because of the way these IR sensor works, there's a bit of a blind spot in front of them, so the maximum value will actually be a little bit out from the sensor. I see that the highest value I'm getting is around 0.6, so I'll adjust the max value to that. Checking my graphs, I compare the noisy input signal to the nice clean output signal that I get now. Finally, I connect the transformed activation to the output node, and now I can control the brightness of the LED by moving my hand in front of the distance sensor.